Cookies, who doesn't love them? Today's recipe is for a thin and crispy cookie that when you bite into it, makes a lot of noise. And that's actually where the name came from. The Dutch name for this cookie is Kletskop, literally translated chatterbox. And that is because you cannot eat this cookie quietly. It most closely resembles a lace cookie. Hi, I'm Tuan and welcome to my kitchen. If you're new to this channel, I focus on cooking foods from my home country, the Netherlands, and some of its former colonies, such as Indonesia. Today we're making kletskoppe, a thin and crispy cookie filled with almonds that is absolutely delicious. Growing up, I remember going to my grandma and she would typically have it at the table for people to eat while they were drinking a cup of coffee. I was probably too young to have coffee, so I would drink it with a hot cocoa or maybe even a soda. To make Kletzkoppe, you will need 100 grams of Bosterzeuker, caster sugar, 40 grams of almonds. We bought slivered almonds and then used a knife to chop them into smaller pieces. 50 grams of all-purpose flour, pinch of salt, tablespoon of water, 40 grams of softened butter, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Making these cookies is very easy. Don't even need a mixer, you can do this easily by hand. We're going to add the sugar, the softened butter, and the water, and we're going to combine that. So this is a Danish whisk, not a Dutch whisk, but I find that that works pretty well for these kind of batters. Once these three ingredients are properly combined, we are going to add the almonds, the pinch of salt and the cinnamon. And add a pinch of salt. The almonds. <laughs> Love the smell of cinnamon. And then lastly, the flour. Don't over mix this, just make sure that everything is thoroughly combined. While I was mixing this, I've had the oven preheating in non-convection mode to 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that this is thoroughly combined, all we have to do is scoop it onto a lined baking sheet. This should make approximately 40 to 50 uh, Kletzkoppe. So what you wanna do is make little one to two centimeter balls. That's somewhere between half an inch and just shy of an inch and then uh, put them on a lined baking sheet, but leave enough space, like two inches in between each one of them, because as they're baking, they will spread out as they get thinner. I'm using a teaspoon measure um, to kind of make sure that I use the same for each one. And then just between your clean hands, make a little ball. And we're gonna do that until you have no more dough left. You better not be afraid of getting sticky hands while you're doing this. I have the first sheet of tiny little dough balls done. So now I'm gonna put it into the oven. Pay very close attention to it. Uh, it should take somewhere between eight and 10 minutes. Check halfway through. If one side looks to be cooking faster than the other, rotate the pan in the oven. Let's take it to the oven. On the middle rack, eight to 10 minutes, check it after four.
Let's take a look. It's halfway through. Look at how they're bubbling. And they are getting slightly brown on the edges, but they're not done yet. So I'm going to let them go for another three to four minutes. So these are the right color. And now I'm going to put them on a rack. They smell so good. As you can see, they have gotten really, really thin. So we're going to let them sit here just for a while. What you want to do is let them harden a little bit on the cookie sheet. And then we're going to use an offset spatula and put them on a rack. The reason you don't want to do it right away is they're so soft right now. If you were to put the offset spatula under it, it's going to just flop over and potentially uh, break the cookie in half. So now it's just a matter of waiting. I've put the second cookie sheet in the oven and these have cooled off enough that I can pick them up with an offset spatula to let them fully cool on the rack. So this is the second batch. As you can see, I didn't do a very good job spacing them out. So I'm just going to use my little offset spatula to just kind of make sure that there is a little bit of a cut in between them. Otherwise, when you take them off, they're going to uh, crumble. Can't wait any longer. Time to try one. I don't know if you can see how thin they are. You can almost look through them. There's some holes. You can see the nuts and let's break it. You can hear it when it falls, how crunchy these are. It's smakelijk. First thing you taste is the caramelized sugar. Then the nuts come through. You can taste some of the cinnamon. Just absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna take another bite. These are so great. They will pair great with a cup of coffee, a cup of tea or some hot cocoa. And they are easy and quick to make. They don't take a lot of effort. So if you ever get the craving to have some Kletzkoppe, it doesn't take that much and almonds stay good in the fridge for quite a while. So most of these ingredients you probably have in your house anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like and subscribe button and don't forget to share this video with your friends. You can find the written recipe on my website, twanskitchen.com, and you can follow me on social media. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.